just what's your recovery been like and how healthy do you feel heading into this season? Uh, I say my recovery has been great and I feel like I'm 100% going into this season. Dante, just how, how much more comfortable do you feel working on the outside? And, and was it really, did you feel like it was starting to click for you last year before you know, the injury at Missouri? I would definitely say I felt like, man, the outside was starting to click for me a lot before the injury. And then I say just like, I feel a lot more comfortable with it now since I had a whole year in the, I mean, in this offense. And I also feel like I'll be comfortable wherever they feel like the team needs to put me at, but I definitely feel comfortable outside. Dante, what did that second scrimmage do for your confidence going into the season? Was it kind of a reminder that you, you can make a big impact as a receiver in this offense? Oh, yeah, I definitely would say it helped me a lot in terms of my confidence because I got to make a lot of big plays that I wasn't making a lot of. So going out there and making plays, it made, definitely made me feel comfortable going into it. Dante, Co Coach Pope said in here, I guess, last week or the week before about last year at the start was hard because you put a lot of pressure on yourself. and. Um, uh, the expectations obviously were uh, high for you. How, how difficult was the start of last year, and how long did it take you to kind of just settle in and be yourself? Uh, I would say it was difficult for me because, like, the goals that I had set for myself, I wasn't really accomplishing them. So when that wasn't going as planned for me, it was I was taking that very hard on myself. And then I say, like, after the South Carolina game or that bye weekend, and we went into Kentucky game, that's when I started to really get back in my flow of the game and everything like that. So yeah, I say around that Kentucky game, that's when everything started to flow for me good. Dante, how would you assess the, the confidence level of this offense going into the season? Obviously, there's a you know a new quarterback running the show, Things, a couple new guys here and there, a lot of guys back on the O-line, a lot of guys back at receiver. Where's the confidence level of this group? I feel like we are very confident going into the season. I feel like we have the opportunity to be like one of the most explosive offenses in college football this year. Uh, you mentioned being more comfortable on the outside. What are some other specific areas that you feel like you've improved in your game? Uh, I say the, the number one area that I improved the most on in my game would be like my mental game and not letting the low plays or lights in the game affect me as much. And then I just say my overall route running and like intermediate route running. I felt like I improved a lot on that this whole offseason. You got a lot of bodies in that receiver room. How competitive is it? How well do you guys get along? And I mean, how do you not think about, you know, snap counts, reps, and rotation and that type of thing? I feel like for our receiver room, we have a great like bond in there. It's like every weekend we always get together, always talking and stuff like that. And I feel like the fact that our room is so deep and we have so many good receivers in that, it makes the, comp the uh, competition with us even more. So like, we go out there and practice. If Chris makes a play or this play, you can have Bruce trying to make a play, me, Caleb, Chad, Squirrel. So in a way that even though it's so competitive, that because, because we have so many people in there, it's making us better because we all trying to make plays more. <clears throat> Dante, a couple, couple things on Brew. How much were you guys crossing paths when you were both working your way back from injury and, and having him back out there? What, what's he, what have you seen from him coming back on the field and, and how's he looking going into the season? I feel like Brew is doing great from his recovery. And I say in terms of like crossing the path, me and Brew, we had each other back the whole recovery process because like we had similar injuries. So while he was doing rehab and I had just had my injury, we were both in there doing rehab together. But that gave us time to for him to actually help me like get locked in with the offense in terms of me playing outside, then us just being there for each other when that we were having hard days of those days when we first got back into everything. So yeah, I definitely say I, I would say personally, that time period where we both were injured and going to rehab, it made us grow closer. I mean, grow closer. What's your relationship like with Nico, not only on the field in terms of chemistry, but off the field, some of the things that he has talked to you about and, and trying to help you out and get more comfortable? I say I definitely have a great relationship with Nico. And off the field, we always like, we get together at his house and we get to watch film. So that way we could talk through different looks and see exactly how he wanted or how he would want me to run a certain role. I could tell him how he, I would want him to place the ball. So I would say we have a great relationship, one and off the field. You talked about that depth. Do you see it as an advantage on game days where maybe you can be more fresh than you normally would heading into a, a series? Oh yeah, I definitely feel like us having a deep receiver room makes it an advantage for us because you could have Brew, Chris, or Squirrel go out there and have a deep play, and they make a big play, and if we have another receiver come right back in that got fresh legs, we do the same thing over and over again. It's going to be hard for defense to adjust to that when we play with a, such a fast tempo.